Hello everyone, welcome to Headlines of the Day. This is 10th of June 2022 and we are back again with some of the major articles from the Indian Express. Let's begin our today's discussion. On page number 3 and 15 from GS2 Polity and Governance, there are two articles about the presidential elections in India. So the first article is headlined as Next President Will Be Elected on July 18th, Opposition for Contest Against the NDA. The second article is headlined as How the President is Elected. So the Election Commission has notified the election of India's next president on the 18th of July. From these articles, you have to know how is the President of India elected, what is the value of each vote and how is it calculated. Moving further on page number 3 from GS2 International Relations point of view, there is another article. We agree on need to respect religions. Iran finance minister after Delhi talks. So from these articles, you have to know about the bilateral relations between India and Iran, the latest developments and the possible way ahead. Moving further on page number 6 and 12 from GS2 Polity and Governance, there are two articles. The first one says that DU, JNU, Jamia slips in the QS world rankings of the universities. And the second article is headlined as Turn around story. This article is written by Mr. Gagandeep Sharma and the article says Indian universities improve global rankings but challenges remain. From these articles, you have to know what are the major findings of QS World University Rankings, progress made by India, key analysis and the possible scenario ahead. Moving further on page number 8 from GS2 International Relations, there's an article, Rajnath hands over 12 high-speed guard boats to Vietnam. So this is about Defence Minister Rajnath Singh's visit to Vietnam. From these articles, you have to know the evolving strategic realities between India and Vietnam, challenges in India and Vietnam relations, potential of India-Vietnam relations, conclusion and the possible scenario ahead. Moving further on page number 12 from GS2 Education Sector, there's another article calling cancer's bluff. A new drug that unshackles body's immune system promises cure for rectal cancer chemotherapy, but more studies are in order, says this article. From this article, you have to know about the Dostar-Limab drug, findings related to it, the science behind the cancer cure and the therapy's future in India. When can such a treatment be accessible in India and what is the possible scenario ahead? Moving further on page number 12 from GS2 Polity and Governance, there's an article, Two Missions for a Change. Jal Jeevan Swachh Bharat are combining to improve people's well-being. From this article, you have to know about the Jal Jeevan and Swachh Bharat missions. How are they combining to improve people's well-being, progress, challenges linked to them and what is the possible scenario ahead. Moving further on page number 14 from GS3 Environment and Biodiversity. In a new high, Thailand becomes first in Asia to make marijuana legal. From this article, you have to learn the facts related to marijuana and its legality across the globe and in India. Moving further on page number 15 from GS3 Defense section, there's an article, What new corvettes will add to Navy capabilities? So from this article, you have to understand what is a corvette, what kinds of corvette does Indian Navy process, what new capabilities will new generation corvette have? Moving further on page number 15 itself from GS3 Science and Technology, there are two articles. First is about the fast radio burst. So cosmic event frequently seen, not yet fully understood. So from this article, you have to understand what is the fast radio burst and its characteristics. Another article that is headlined as testosterone deficiency and the safety of replacement therapy. From this article, you have to know about the testosterone replacement therapy and related facts. Moving further on page number 17 from GS3 economy section, there's an article that is headlined as post RBI move banks hike lending rates, EMIs to jump. From this article, you have to understand why has RBI hiked the repo rate, how will it impact borrowers and depositors, and what's the RBI assessment on inflation. Moving further on page number 17 itself from GS2, Polity and Governance, another article, Online Offences, Government Proposal for Sector 66A Like Steps Fine to UN Takers. From this article, you have to understand what is Section 66A of the IT Act, what is the problem with that, what are the grounds for challenges? What has the court said so far? And what is the possible scenario ahead? Well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Headlines of the Day, the Indian Express. This is Kritika signing off. I'll see you with more such videos. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.